Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariam. Today's tutorial is on this look that you see here using all drugstore products because you voted for this video in my community poll. So it's thanks to you that I'm filming this. I think I'm gonna be doing these polls a little bit more often. That way you can choose what I film next. So it's easy for me, it's easy for you, and it's perfect. With that said, let's get to this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like on this video. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of my next video. And leave me a comment if you have any questions. Drugstore tutorial, go to look. Here we come. I'm gonna start with the usual, my L'Oreal Hydrogenius for oily skin moisturizer. My favorite, my beloved, my bestie, my boo, my bae. I love this guy. For a second there, I forgot what I was doing. I actually thought I was just enjoying myself. Back to the tutorial. For my primer today, I have two drugstore primers that I love. The Pixi Rose Flash Bomb and the Maybelline Master Prime. Pixi is one of those brands that's not exactly drugstore because you can find it in Target only. And it's a little bit more expensive than like normal drugstore prices. So I'm gonna limit my Pixi intake for today's video but I am gonna use this Rose Flash Bomb because I love it a lot. It's great as a primer, it's great as a moisturizer. It's just this uh, multitasking skin balm that does a lot. It really just preps your face for makeup application. And it smells divine! So that's it with Pixi products, although I am considering doing a one brand tutorial starting with Pixi, just because someone recommended it in the community tab and I'm thinking that's a really great idea. So let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, I know I'm breaking out. I know I have this like big major bump right here. Ugh. Honestly, it feels like a horn. I couldn't even sleep on this side of the face, so I'm just gonna not talk about it anymore because it's really pissing me off. I'm gonna use this NYX Color Correcting Concealer and this little uh, Real Techniques applicator just to dab it onto all of my problem areas today. I am not really happy with my skin right now. It's different when you get pimples or you break out and then they go away, but when they're hurting, when they're constantly reminding you of their presence, it's just annoying. So I'm just trying to neutralize this area here. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush to kind of buff out that green. In the foundation category, I have a couple of favorites from the drugstore. My number one favorite is obviously the L'Oreal True Match. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I talk about it frequently. I use it a lot. It's kind of my favorite. But I'm not gonna use it today, I'm gonna use something different. Another favorite, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have two shades here, 238 and 228, although the 238 rich tan looks a little bit lighter than the 228 soft tan. Although this one is much more yellow and this one is a little bit more neutral. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go for one of them. I'm just gonna pour some on the back of my hand. Whoa, that's a lot. Ain't no one gonna need that much foundation. So what do I do now? Do I try to like pour it back into the bottle? Mm, that's like one thing I'm not really crazy about with drugstore foundation. Like where's the pump? Where's the practicality? The packaging just isn't thought out. That actually looks like a pretty decent match for my current pale skin tone. And I am really loving the coverage. I've actually forgotten how great this foundation is. I'm gonna be using mostly drugstore brushes for today's tutorial, except for this one that I'm using right now. This one is It Cosmetics and it's my current favorite foundation brush. It is so good, such a great brush for foundation. Let me know if you guys know of a foundation brush that you love that's from the drugstore. Comment down below, share your findings because I haven't found one and I really want to. I'm sticking with Maybelline for my concealer today. I'm gonna to be using the new Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I have two shades, medium and neutralizer. Neutralizer is for the dark circles. And this is actually my first time using this concealer, but everybody swears by this one. So it's promising. I have high hopes for this product. Now, if only it would come out. Oh, there it goes, I see it seeping through. Oh, neutralizer is like super pale and yellow. Girl, this might not be my shade. I saw Amanda Ensing using this the other day under her um, under eye. Maybe we're not the same complexion. Hold on a minute, let me try the medium now. Yeah, the medium definitely seems a little bit more appropriate for my skin tone. I would probably use this shade for my under eye. Damn it, I also had a golden. I'm gonna use the same brush to kind of buff that out and to beat it into my skin. I guess I'm just gonna be really highlighted. I'm gonna be lit. 
Concealer is looking real good. Real good. No wonder it's a cult favorite. This is impressive. And I'm glad they now have more shades to their range. I think they've included a couple of extension shades. So now they're diversifying, which is always, always good news. I'm gonna set my under eye using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. This is in the shade 300. I'm gonna set my face with the same powder using the It Cosmetics brush, which by the way, I will list the brushes, I will list the products down below in the description box, and I will even link them. I will provide links for all the products. Yes, I started doing that again, and I'm sorry I stopped, but we're back at it. For my contour today, I'm gonna to use Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. This beauty right here, I'm gonna use this contouring shade. Man, I can't say enough about Flower Beauty products. Their palettes, their eyeshadows, their highlighters, they're just all so amazing. They're not just the best in drugstore, they are some of the best in makeup, period. And here's why. Smooth, pigmented, just the perfect color for a contour or a bronzer. It's just the right shade. It's smart, it works well. It's not moving my foundation or my powder underneath. It's just a great product. And to think that this stuff is under $20 and you get a blush and a highlighter in this palette, it's incredible. If you can get your hands on this, I beg you, please do. No, this is not sponsored by Flower Beauty or by any of the brands that I'm mentioning here. This is just me and my honest to God opinion. I love this brand and their products speak for themselves. They are luxy. Speaking of Flower Beauty, I finally have a drugstore Flower Beauty makeup brush, and this is, I believe, a blush brush or a contour brush. I'm gonna use it for blush. I actually have a lot of choices to choose from. There's a lot of great drugstore brushes. Blech. There's a lot of great drugstore blushes that I love. Milani is one of them. Palladio or Palladio is another one of them. Flower Beauty, obviously. And also, I am a huge fan of NYX blushes. These are my all-time favorites. I've used them for years. This one in particular has always been a go-to of mine. Apricot is the name. So, Apricot is what I will be using today. Just such a pretty flush. Love this shade. Brow time, I'm using NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. I'm first using the spoolie to brush out my brows, and then I'm gonna draw fine little hair strokes throughout the width of my brow. I'm using this product today because it is simply the best. It's comparable to Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, as well as Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, so I like it. I love the price, and I love the quality. I'm gonna go for a somewhat natural brow today. I think with the look that I'm going for, my go-to glam, I really wanna do a natural, clean, chiseled, pretty brow. For my eyeshadow today, I am going to be using the Katie Cat palette from CoverGirl in collaboration with Katy Perry. I have two right here, one that's a little bit more daytime appropriate, another one that's a little bit more whimsical and that's great for spring, for night, for any special occasion perhaps. And the reason why I'm using these today is because they're just so creamy and just so smooth and so easy to use. They feel like high-end shadows. So let me show you what the fuss is all about. Using a Studio Tools brush from Target, picking up this shade here. Just gonna place it very gently. You already see how pigmented, how vibrant it is. So I'm not gonna add any more shadow. I'm just gonna apply it to the area where I want the most color payoff, and then I'm just gonna blend it. And then once I have a desired shape, I'm just gonna erase the edges with a fluffy brush. This one's from Sonia Kashuk. It's another one of those brushes that I've had for years probably like 10 years, and I still continue to use it because it's still great. Do you see how easily this eyeshadow spreads? It just goes exactly where you place it. I am so, so for that. Just easy to use, it listens to you. The payoff is incredible. I use the same shade on a little smudger brush, also from Studio Tools. Just smudge it here on my lower lash line, connect with that outer portion, and then just blend it out into my concealer. I'm gonna take this deeper shade here using another Sonia Kashuk brush. This one's a slightly stiffer one, so it's great for that outer corner for packing on the color. And just gently tap it in, drag it inwards, and add dimension to my eye. 
That is looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. There's a little bit of fallout with the shadow, but that's to be expected. It is so soft, but the fact that it's clinging onto the skin and it's not moving the other eyeshadow around, that tells you that it's finely milled, it's well pressed, and it's just a quality product. Now, because it's my go-to look, I'm gonna go for the gold. I always go for the gold. Just think it's super flattering on my skin tone or on anyone who's medium, who's warm, anyone who looks good in gold, basically. These shadows are superb, you guys. If you can get your hands on these Katy Perry X Cover Girl shadows from the drugstore, you're not gonna be disappointed. I'm gonna pick up this pale pink shimmery shade with a NYX brush. I'm pretty sure this is a lip brush, but whatever, that works too. I'm gonna use this to highlight right under my brow arch and also my inner corner. And then I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna pick up the second palette. This one is called Cool Cat. I'm gonna dip my finger into this super shimmery yellow gold shade. And I'm gonna start adding the sparkle just to the center of the lid. I'm also gonna take the sparkle and extend it a bit past the crease and meet with that brow arch, just because. I'm gonna use this infallible longwear eye pencil from L'Oreal to do the thing that I hate doing the most, which is tight line. I hate doing it, but for a go-to look, I always do it. Just makes me feel extra dramatic. That's why I'm putting myself through this pain yet again. I'm also gonna take a little bit of black shadow and just smudge it right under that waterline. For my go-to look, I almost always have to have a wing. So today I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Liner, which is a felt tip. You just place it along your lash line and you kind of just do little strokes with the side of the felt tip. This isn't my most favorite drugstore liner, but it's pretty good and it gets the job done. Now this step is totally optional. I'm just gonna do it because I'm already here and I can. I'm gonna set this liner with a little bit of black shadow just so that it's nice and matte for my mascara today. L'Oreal Voluminous, this one is a classic. Drugstore actually has a lot of great mascaras that I like. Did that just happen to me? Did that just happen to me? Why? Oh, okay, no biggie, let's fix that. I'm gonna use a little bit of this uh, Meissler water from Garnier on a cotton pad, and I'm gonna very gently just pat that mascara stain off of my lid. For my lashes today, I'm gonna be wearing these lashes, Ilor X Nicole Guerrero, this beauty right here. I love her so much. She is such a real chick and I'm so excited for this collab. These are called hashtag 143, get it? Get it, that's so cool. Ilor is actually one of my favorite lash brands. Drugstore, non-drugstore. I love them because they have so many different styles of lashes to choose from. They're super affordable and they also do collabs with influencers. What more can you ask for? These are actually just the perfect lashes for those of us with smaller eyes, but who still want some drama and some definition, I recommend these. Nicole Guerrero, you did good girl. When it comes to non-transferable liquid lipsticks from the drugstore, there's only one that comes to mind outside of Flower Beauty, because theirs is amazing, but theirs is not exactly non-transferable. Long story short, I'm talking about CoverGirl. These liquid lipsticks right here, are great. They're comparable to all the higher end brands, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Stila, etc., etc. However, they come at a fraction of the cost. And today I am gonna go for this color, I think. Just to be a little matchy matchy with my background, using Flower Beauty lip liner in the shade Plum. This color is called All Nighter, and it is just so pretty. So, so pretty. I need to go out tonight. For my highlighter today, I am gonna be using two highlighters. I'm sorry, sue me, that's just my prerogative. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Molten Gold just because I love it so much, I talk about it all the time, and it's like the perfect highlighter for my skin tone. I love the fact that it's gold, I love the fact that it's a blinding, 
and I love the fact that it's super affordable. The second highlighter that I'm going to use is this one here from Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This one also super blinding, but it's just a little bit too pale to be worn alone. So it might work great for those of you who are fairer. But for someone like me, I need just a bit more of a golden base. Maybelline Master Fix Water Boosting Setting Spray all over my face. And that's it for the tutorial. And this is the final look. Glam, gorgeous, golden, glowy, using all drugstore makeup. So I hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing. Don't forget to give me a like. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.